if you have ever wanted a truly glossy OLED monitor, your dream may just have come true. Let me show you. If I actually turn on this light and shine it on this monitor, you can see that the reflections are fairly clear, but the blacks remain inky and the image has such glossiness to it that the colors just pop and it remains deep in terms of the black. Now, right beside it is an ASUS PG32 UCDM QD OLED monitor. And when the light shines on the screen, you can see the black level being elevated, the ambient contrast drops, and there's also a slight purplish hue to it. And this is a reason why we say that QD OLED monitor is maybe unsuitable for use in a bright room because of the drop in ambient contrast. But I know some of you prefer to use a matte screen because this type of matte screen suppresses reflections extremely well. But to a true video file like myself, it loses some clarity. It has that sort of haziness, that sort of grain that may put off some of you who likes an image that can pop, such as the one that is presented by this ROG Strix XG32 UCWG. Now, this uses an MLA Plus OLED panel from LG Display. If you remember, last year, ASUS actually has a 27-inch model, which is also glossy. That's the XG27 AQDMG. But that still has a slight sort of grain on it. When you put a microscope on the monitor, you can see some slight haziness in terms of the subpixel structure. This is absolutely clear when we actually enlarge the subpixel because ASUS has secured the panel directly from LG Display who has provided this zero haze solution directly from factory. And I want to congratulate both ASUS and LG Display for coming up with this solution because this will be of interest to many of you out there, I know. Other specs about this monitor include a 165Hz refresh rate, which can go up to 330Hz at half resolution. Now ASUS, they have actually launched another similar model, which can go up to 240Hz at native resolution or 480 hertz at half resolution of 1920 times 1080. The model number of that is the XG32 UCWMG. Unfortunately, they don't have it on show here, but the image should be very similar to this because it has this depth, this blackness that I love so much, this wet glossy look. And it has new proximity sensor. It has two HDMI 2.1 port and one display port 1.4. And it also has a smaller stand in line with ROG Strix. But by far, the biggest draw of this monitor is undoubtedly the glossiness of the screen. And as I stand in front of it looking at videos, the image just popped out to me. And I genuinely think that this will be of very high interest to many of you out there.